Professional sports gross more than $1 trillion annually, meaning that there is ample money to go around. Many rookie athletes begin making six figures, with a huge potential for salary growth. That trend continued during the 2010s, making numerous athletes millionaires many times over. But who were the biggest winners of the last 10 years? Today, we are counting down the top 10 highest paid athletes of the decade. Lewis Hamilton is one of the most accomplished Formula One racers in the world. The UK native has risen to the top of the all-time pole positions list, ahead of his hero Ayrton Senna. He surged into second place in the wins column, behind only the inimitable Michael Shoemaker, and surpassed the legendary Sir Jackie Stewart for the most championship titles by a British driver. Hamilton dominated the F1 season in 2014, winning a career-high 11 races to capture his second driver's championship. He was just as dominant in 2015, when he won his third driver's championship one month before the season ended. In both seasons, Hamilton's performance, combined with that of teammate Nico Rosberg, enabled Mercedes-Benz to win the F1 Constructors' Championship. At times, Lewis Hamilton has courted controversy for his actions on and off the track. He is very much in the public spotlight, and his words are usually closely scrutinized. Racing in Spain, he was the victim of verbal abuse from some Spanish supporters. His close rivalry with Spanish writer Fernando Alonso was responsible for encouraging Spanish supporters to direct abuse at Hamilton, some of it racial in nature. Lewis admits he is very competitive, and this has sometimes caused tension with other drivers. However, none can dispute that he is one of the best racers in the game. As a result, he earned $400 million over the last decade, making him the best-paid driver and the 10th best-paid athlete overall. Currently playing for the Brooklyn Nets, Kevin Durant put in most of his time with the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Golden State Warriors. He was the second overall pick in the 2007 NBA Draft. As a professional, he has won two NBA championships, an NBA Most Valuable Player Award, two Finals MVP Awards, two NBA All-Star Game Most Valuable Player Awards, four NBA Scoring Titles, the NBA Rookie of the Year Award, and two Olympic Gold Medals. Off the court, Durant is one of the highest earning basketball players in the world, due in part to endorsement deals with companies such as Foot Locker and Nike. He has developed a reputation for philanthropy and regularly leads the league in all-star votes and jersey sales. In recent years, he has contributed to the Players' Tribune as both a photographer and writer. Over the course of the last 10 years alone, Durant pulled in $425 million, though he spent a lot of this capital, leaving him with a total net worth of $170 million. The NBA star is renowned both for his gameplay on the court and his legendary car collection and mansion. Manny Pacquiao rose from abject poverty in the Philippines to earn a huge fortune. This real-life rags-to-riches story has inspired fans everywhere because he is one of modern boxing's greatest talents. Pacquiao began boxing professionally at age 16. After winning the WBC Flyweight Championship in 1998, he continued to overwhelm his era's top competitors, en route to titles in eight separate weight divisions. Along with his boxing career, Pacquiao was elected twice to his country's House of Representatives and won a Senate seat in 2016. The charismatic boxer, nicknamed Pac-Man, was an idol and a unifying force in the Philippines, where his unprecedented popularity led to commercial endorsements, movies, television shows, CDs, and his image on a postage stamp. The boxer was raised in a remote village in the Philippines, but boarded a boat when he was just a teenager to try and make it in Manila, the country's capital. It turns out this was a wise decision, because Pacquiao's pay-per-view fights have created more than $1.2 billion in revenue. Added to his burgeoning political career, Pac-Man is poised to become one of the highest-paid boxers of all time. He made $435 million over the last 10 years, making him the 8th best-paid athlete of the 2010s. Coming in at number 7 is Phil Mickelson. Mickelson was once crowned the golden boy of golf by many sports writers, Hall of Fame golfers, and fans. He was known for many years as the best player never to have won a major, according to Sports Illustrated. However, Mickelson taught not only his fellow competitors, but also golf fans, that loving your family and your sport is more important than winning. His determination paid off in 2004, when he won the Masters for his first major championship in more than 40 tries. Since then, he has won 44 PGA Tour events and five major championships, both ranked second behind Tiger Woods among active players. In August 2019, it was announced that Mickelson and his longtime rival Woods would square off in a televised one-on-one -on -one showdown in Las Vegas on November 23rd. Billed as a winner-take-all match for $9 million, Mickelson said they were considering adding a series of in-match challenges that included longest drive, closest to the hole, longest putt, and closest out of a bunker. Mickelson earned a total of $480 million in the last 10 years. 
Though his personal life has been plagued with controversy, Tiger Woods is both one of the most talented and highest paid golfers of all time. Woods studied at Stanford University and won a number of amateur U.S. golf titles before turning professional in 1996. He shot to fame after winning the U.S. Masters at Augusta in 1997 at the age of 21. Woods was the youngest person to earn the title and the first African American to accomplish this feat. He first reached the number one position in the world rankings in June 1997, less than a year after turning pro. Throughout the 2000s, Woods was the dominant force in golf. He won the 2000 US Open by a record 15-shot margin. He was the top-ranked golfer in the world from August 1999 to September 2004, and again from June 2005 to October 2010. Woods is one of the highest paid athletes in history, with a net worth of $800 million and lifetime earnings of more than $1.5 billion. He earned $615 million in the last 10 years, making him number six on our countdown. At 39 years old, Roger Federer is still winning trophies. The Swiss tennis player is the richest tennis player in the world, with a net worth of $450 million. The former world number one is one of the most successful players of all time. He has won the men's singles tournament at Wimbledon alone eight times since 2003, as well as 20 Grand Slam singles titles all over the world. His success trails back to the age of eight, when he started playing tennis. Born in Basel, Switzerland on August 8, 1981, his Swiss father Robert Federer and South African mother Lynette Durand encouraged him to play from an early age. Sponsorship deals with companies from Rolex to Credit Suisse also contribute to his wealth, which can only increase after the Swiss star signed a $300 million sponsorship deal with Japanese clothing brand Uniqlo last year. For me, the ranking at 37 years old is no longer really the priority, Federer said at a media event. Instead, he's focusing on his health and winning the big tournaments, which might mean skipping smaller events here and there. It's clear that Federer doesn't need to play in any more tournaments to pay the bills, because he already earned $640 million in the last 10 years alone. Coming in at number 4 is LeBron James, with $680 million in earnings over the last decade. Many people consider LeBron James to be the greatest basketball player of his generation. The 6'8 forward skipped college to play in the NBA when he was only 19 years old. Since then, LeBron began a meteoric rise to superstardom that continues to this day. James' NBA accomplishments are extensive and include four NBA Most Valuable Player awards, three NBA Finals MVP awards, two Olympic gold medals, three All-Star Game MVP awards, and an NBA scoring title. He is the all-time NBA playoff scoring leader and has amassed 14 NBA All-Star Game appearances. Considering his impressive resume, James is compensated handsomely. In 2019 alone, he pulled in $187 million, according to Forbes. Over his career, James has accrued a $500 million net worth and more than a billion dollars in career earnings. He has the highest grossing endorsement portfolio of any player in the NBA, his own production company, and a chain of pizza restaurants based in Florida. All of this adds up to an unbelievable fortune, which is only growing as LeBron gets closer to retirement. Anyone who has watched FC Barcelona or the Argentinian national team knows that Lionel Messi is a natural leader and one of the greatest forwards ever to grace the game. But things weren't always so easy for Messi. Born and raised in central Argentina, Messi was diagnosed with a growth hormone deficiency as a child. At age 13, he relocated to Spain to join Barcelona, who agreed to pay for his medical treatment. After a fast progression through Barcelona's youth academy, Messi made his competitive debut aged 17 in October 2004. Since then, Messi has been racking up statistics. He is both Barcelona and Argentina's all-time leading scorer and became the youngest Argentine to score a goal in FIFA play in 2006. Messi has a record of five total golden boots. As you might imagine, Messi receives fair compensation for his services. The forward has earned $84 million from his salary, in addition to $27 million in endorsements, meaning that his net earnings for this season are more than $111 million in 2019 alone. In total, he earned $750 million during the 2010s. Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the most iconic figures in sports. He has earned more than $800 million in the last 10 years, making him number two on our countdown. He continually proves he's earned his fame and fortune by controlling penalty kicks perfectly and leading his Portuguese national team to victory. Born and raised on the Portuguese island of Madeira, Ronaldo was diagnosed with a racing heart at age 15. He underwent an operation to treat his condition and began his senior club career playing for Sporting CP before signing with Manchester United at age 18 in 2003. 
The condition didn't seem to hold Ronaldo back from an impressive career with Man U, Real Madrid, and most recently, Juventus in Italy. By age 22, he had received Ballon d'Or and FIFA World Player of the Year nominations, and at age 23, he won his first Ballon d'Or and FIFA World Player of the Year awards. In 2009, Ronaldo was the subject of the most expensive association football transfer when he moved from Manchester United to Real Madrid in a transfer worth 94 million euros. In Madrid, Ronaldo won 15 trophies, including two La Liga titles, two Copas del Rey, five UEFA Champions League titles, two UEFA Super Cups, and three FIFA Club World Cups. Floyd Mayweather is one of the most celebrated figures in boxing. He has a world record 26 consecutive wins and was proven to be the most accurate pugilist in boxing history. And his success as both a boxer and a promoter have earned him a terrific sum over the course of his lifetime. Though no one knows Mayweather's exact net worth, his lavish lifestyle indicates that he is extremely wealthy. In the 2010s, he earned $915 million, making him the highest paid athlete of the decade. This is particularly incredible because Mayweather grew up with extreme adversity. His home life as a child was difficult to say the least. His mother had a drug habit, and his father sold cocaine when he wasn't in the ring. When I was about eight or nine, I lived in New Jersey with my mother, and we were seven deep in a one bedroom, and sometimes we didn't have electricity, Mayweather recalls. But in his father, Floyd's Mayweather had a coach and someone who believed in him. When he was just two years old, he would tell anyone who'd listen that his son was a future world champion. By the time Mayweather reached grammar school, his potential was clear. The whole family got behind young Floyd to help him on his path to greatness. 